Burning Daylight is a short 3D side-scroller with a heavy focus on world-building. It's very heavily inspired from games like Inside, and while it's certainly not as polished or profound as Inside, it's still got a lot of merit to it. Oh, and it's free, and also short, hence why this will probably be my shortest review. So, Burning Daylight is set in a dystopian future where everyone is plugged into these virtual reality headsets. As the game starts, you wake up in a slaughterhouse, completely naked. From there, you start on your journey through the mysterious world. And like Limbo, Inside, Little Nightmares, and other games of this style, Burning Daylight tells its story through the use of striking imagery and gorgeous visuals. There is a bit of voice acting in this one, however, and I think it's really good. It's well acted, it's brief, and there's no unnecessary exposition. The game is purposely vague, leaving lots up to the interpretation of the player, but there is a clear parallel to one of the most famous biblical tales. The game is only about 30 to 45 minutes long, however, so I don't really want to elaborate on that, as the game is so short and telling you anything more would spoil it. I will say, though, that I think the imagery is pretty strong, but I wish some of the story was developed a bit more. Now, I'm completely fine with the vague nature of the game, I just kind of wish it took a bit longer to delve deeper into some of the themes. Still, what we get here is a really intriguing world with some nice story elements, and for the length of the game, I think it works well. Now, this game has some very light puzzle elements, but for the most part, it's more of what you would call a walking simulator. It focuses on the visuals and is more concerned with creating a unique experience rather than having big gameplay elements. I think it succeeds in this because, like I said, the visuals are fantastic and it's so short, so I don't think there was going to be room for many gameplay elements anyway. So yeah, no real gameplay, but for the type of game, I think that's perfectly fine. Now I've said this plenty and you can see it, but this game looks amazing. The lighting does a great job setting the mood, the city is really well designed, and I love the whole VR aesthetic. The music is dark but hard hitting at times and it really drives home the sense of scale and power in the world. This game is certainly more of an artistic experience, and thankfully, the art and design is firing on all cylinders. Now, unfortunately, this game has some technical issues, and the performance is not great. I initially thought this was because of the fact that the game defaults to windowed mode, but when I changed this, the performance was still not that good. Hovering around the 40s usually, and going anywhere between 60 and the high 20s. This game is also very rough around the edges, and some of the animations can look a bit wonky at times. And there are several moments where I got stuck trying to walk around, like these stairs for example. Also, when going back and loading a previous chapter, I had some issues where half of the audio wouldn't load. I was having a bunch of problems with stupid ass OBS, so I wanted to go back and redo the previous section so I could record it properly. And when I selected the chapter and loaded in, half of the audio didn't load in. Like I could hear the music, but I couldn't hear any of the sound effects or the footsteps or anything like that. I restarted and tried again and the same result. After a few attempts, it worked fine, but it was still annoying nonetheless. In the end, this game is very rough around the edges, but I don't think these issues detract too much from the overall experience, as there's not really any gameplay that gets impacted. Still, these issues definitely need to be fixed. So yeah, this, as I told you, <laughs> this was a short one. Um, I play a lot of games that are really short, a lot of them even shorter than this, but they're just kind of hard to review on a normal scale. So would I recommend it? Yes, absolutely. It's free, it takes 40 minutes to play, and it's a really cool visual experience. It's certainly worth checking out, and it's a pretty damn good first outing for this small team. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe for more and check out my other reviews. I'm also still working on my own game, and will have more content for that in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. If you want to see my initial behind-the-scenes video on it, check the description or my channel homepage. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.